Uh, hello, this is Mustafa. So, I think you have watched already the first two videos and now you're ready for this one, which is going to be some pass and generate test points. Uh, in, in, in the other example, uh, like the first, uh, the last, uh, the previous uh, tutorial, I uh, showed how to import EPW weather data and then I said like you can get the location, which is interesting because you can draw a some pass. So okay, let's go ahead and open the sound pass example. So I just go here, Dynamo, open. Oh, it opens there. Uh, sound pass, open. And I will show you the next video. So like it has like a start with a manual run, which is important because you don't want it to run. And actually, I hope like we see some errors, so I can show you how to debug the errors. Sometimes uh, sound pass gives an error for generating spheres. I couldn't really figure out why that's happening. Uh, and it will be fixed definitely soon. But for now, like I just kept it here. I think it's a good example to see how to see the errors, how to debug it, like how to let us know about the issues. So here's the sound pass. Uh, and what do you need to draw a sound pass? You need location data, uh, actually, only. And this is a good chance for me to talk about how the inputs in Ladybug are actually coded using these underlines. So why some of them has an underline and some of them has underline on the both side, on the right, on the left, what does it mean? So if you, this is, okay, this is a code the, to, to let you know which inputs are required, which inputs are uh, required but has a default value, and which uh, inputs are optional. And optional inputs are usually like required still, but they're not affecting like really the calculation in a way. For example, here north is optional. Why I know north is optional? Because there is no underline on the left or underscore on the left, which means like I need something, but there is an underscore on the right, which means there is a value there. So let's look at the location. Location there is, and I'm doing like a really hard job in a way, not so, okay. Nope. Uh, so location, you can see there is an underline on the right, which means you need this value, but there is no underline on the left. So it means like there is no default value. But if you check, for example, hours of the year, there are underlines on the both sides, which means you need it, but there is a default value. So d default value there. So the easiest way is just look to the right side, and if there is not an underline, you need an input. So for the whole sum pass, what all I need is the location. How to get the location, we just saw it, there are different ways, but uh, the, one of the easiest ways is to import the location from the EPW file. There is a node for that. So this is a, a ladybug node. This calculate uh, uh, hour of the year is ladybug node too. So where can you find it? Under ladybug, uh, analyze weather data is where you can get the calculate hour of the year. And for import location is under ladybug, ladybug here import location and there are ways to construct your own location for example if you're working on top of the Revit and you have your location data you can get that and then you can connect it to construct construct your own location with a name latitude and longitude and time zone and then you can connect that to the to the location here to draw the sun pass okay let's not talk anymore let's draw the sun pass and the reason the sun pass is not drawn here again and uh, one while when I open the file is because I have the run set to manual. So uh, what are we gonna see? We're gonna see the sum pass for Washington and it will be for and, and the sum positions, the sum pass will be annual, so you will see the sun pass for the whole year. But the sum positions that will be map on the sum path will be for the months six, day if I here you can see it says uh, default value is 21 and ever is from 6 to 20 this is the way in uh, Dynamo to create a series like you can check the health files this is like code block in Dynamo is amazing like it's really powerful I really suggest you to learn how to use it if you want to use Dynamo it will save you so much time so 6 dot dot 20 means generate numbers between 6 and 20 and then you can have dot dot 1 which means the step but now the step is already 1 so it will be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 20 and what else we have nothing like the, the other inputs are, are I left them empty 
I hope it gives us the error so I can tell you like how to fix it. We will see. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and click run. Run is started. And of course when you want to show people that there should, will be an error, there will be no errors. But we will see. Hmm. Of course there is no error. So you see the sun path here. You can either press escape and then you will go back here and you can start rotating and all those stuff or you can press this here to toggle between them. Now you can see this is a, like a sun path, totally like uh, similar to sun paths that you have in, in the ladybug for grasshopper and it has many of the functionalities that we have there. For example, you can now start changing the hours. The, this, the uh, daylight saving will be added soon. Uh, mapping hourly data will be added soon, which is the powerful uh, feature of, of the ladybug uh, sun path. But now you already get all the sun vectors, altitude, azimuth, uh, like the spheres, geometry. I'm using the start point and sun positions to draw these lines. So these lines are now part of the sun path. And you can do all this stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't get the error, uh, but it's okay because uh, I've, I will have the error on the sky anyway, so I can show you there <laughs> what do I mean by this error and how to fix it. Uh, but it's okay, it, it, it looks fine here. There are, like, I have extensive videos and some paths uh, on YouTube, uh, and it's, it's in Grasshopper interface. I will be probably adding more when I have the sun paths here completed for Dynamo, but, but the logic is the same, how to use some paths, how to read it, why these vectors does matter. Uh, I talk about all of them in that video, so I'm not going to do it again. But just uh, for the sake of showing like uh, what kind of things you can do with this, I'll change the mass from 6 to 12, and it will be December, and then I run it again, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed to to see the error instead of getting the results. Nope, it's working fine. <laughs> I know in 99% of the time you should be happy as a developer when your code works. <laughs> but I was hoping this one doesn't work. This is still thinking, which is again, I said like in Dynamo, like the code runs much slower than Grasshopper, even though they're the same code. And this is something that we're still trying to figure out why. And I think it will be fixed in, in the next few release. I'm still waiting. Maybe I should pause the video. Or maybe I should do similar to the other one, show you what the sun pass in in grasshopper and usually when you start doing this it will if it works so I just put this thing here while watching that waiting for the sun pass for dynamo to be calculated so I'll do the exact same thing here very similar stuff so sun pass is here Um, very similar, I, when I'm recording videos, does this weird thing. So I just go ahead and import the location data, and then I can use this location data to, to draw the sun pass, which actually just showed up here in Grasshopper, you can't see it, but let me preview off this mm, and then I can bring right now here mm. so it doesn't like to zoom extend so here is the you can see in the in the sun pad and, and what I really wanted to show you by showing grasshopper and I said it's, it's not 
developed yet is you can map hourly data on top of some pass with that it means like I can take the dry bulb temperature and connect it to annual hourly data and I don't know why this is slow motion so now if I check my sun pass I can see like at that time uh, okay at that time the temperature is 12.20 and if I have multiple hours yeah this is one of the things I, I like dynamo more that you can do the series on the fly instead of bringing a series component if I draw the sun pass for multiple hours you can see now you get a range of different colors for different values you can you can put the values as number here too which uh, we will see later let's check if dynamo is done it's not done I don't think we want to wait what, what will happen is like this some positions will move down there okay I think this this will be the end of this video in the next video I show you how to generate some test points and then if we have the test points and we have a sun pass we can run sunlight average analysis Okay, thanks for watching.